Hello everyone and welcome back to another Sonic Screwdriver video. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Sonic Screwdriver right here, which is a custom Sonic Screwdriver that I put together uh, about five, six years ago now. Uh, it's gone through quite a few upgrades and changes since I first made it. Um, it hasn't appeared on YouTube before actually, which I was quite surprised that I've never made a video on it. Um, but it did pop up on my Instagram quite a few times and most recently it was on a Instagram live that I did with a few other Sonic people probably about you know five months ago so <laughs> so some of you may recognize it some of you won't so as you can see it is a custom 11th Doctor's Sonic screwdriver which I've given a silver and black paint job so this is the character options toy which I've given it a bit of an upgrade Actually based on the Sonic Screwdriver Nick Roboto made for himself uh, around that time, about five, six years ago. And I loved it so much I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have to make my own one of them. And you know, a few months after I made this or a few months after I finished making it, he actually announced the release of the Mark I. Roboto Custom Mark I. <laughs> So I ended up buying that and uh, this thing kind of just fell into the background as I, you know, I had a metal one basically. So didn't really, didn't really do much with this. However, recently, like I say, giving it a bit of an upgrade and it's looking better than ever. So we're going to take a look at this now and I'll talk to you over a few of the custom things and a few of the paint job choices that I've made. <laughs> So yeah, as you can see, it's basically the single button version of the 11th and 12th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. I think it was the 12th Doctor's single button version originally. So gave it a silver and black paint job. Uh, it's not a very bright silver, could have been a bit better, but I think it looks quite good. Um, got the solid end cap there, so there's no red button or floppy end cap, because we don't want to see that. Uh, <laughs> moving up to the what usually is referred to as the white handle section but here it is a black handle section so basically just spray painted that black and added a little grub screw there literally just for looks that doesn't do anything it's just in there so we get onto the upper handle section here and we have some leather so yeah, this is just a bit of leather. I actually stitched that myself. <laughs> so yeah, don't don't judge me. It's not not the best stitching, but uh, you know, it's not too bad. A bit more difficult to put on there than I thought, but I think it looks okay. Does the job. Looks better than the plastic handle that was on there originally. So basically, I just sanded down the fake stitching that was on the plastic handle, and basically stitched this leather around. You can look somewhere you could probably see where the original button bit was so yeah so right there just there that's where the spring activated thing was <laughs> and then just below was the original activation button but you can see that i've added a micro button onto the handle so it's more accurate i think it looks better as well it's nice and uh, shiny there uh, that was also a bit more difficult to get in. You can see it's not as tidy as it could be at the bottom, but I think it looks okay. And moving up to the cage section, I put some nice big black bolts on there, which is uh, which I think is quite good. You know, it, it suits well with the black paint job at the top. And yeah, you see the silver struts there and the black cage section. So, very nice. See the claws there, which I've actually filled in as well, with a nice blue emitter on the top. So the blue emitter is actually from the Trans Temporal Sonic Screwdriver. And uh, yeah, it fits on there quite well with a bit of sanding. <laughs> so, turning to features. Now, I have not got sound in this, just lights, but, can see it's got a nice blue LED bright blue and if we open it up you 
see it's got the green core in there, but I added some extra LEDs. So it lights up really well with the green core and the blue emitter, which is pretty cool. It looks even better in the dark, which we'll get to now. So here's a quick look at it all lit up in the dark. It looks amazing. It's actually probably my favorite custom that I've done. Lights up uh, really well there. Look at that, beams down at you, tries to blind you as you're Sonic in there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll close it up there. And you can see that the lights shine through the cage section, which I think is also pretty cool. And uh, give it a flip. <laughs> Not too bad, close it up. Pretty nice. Get the lights back on. Beautiful. Definitely my favorite custom, like I say. It's got some nice colors on there. Yeah. So I'll give it a bit of a comparison here to the Mark I, which we briefly just saw a moment ago. Uh, there it is. So it's pretty much, you know, I kind of based it off that originally because Nick made his own custom of this. Um, and then obviously everyone liked it. I actually liked it so much I started making my own. <laughs> and then he announced he was making his own custom replicas to sell. So obviously I got one of them and here we are. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the original emitter here, I've saved for something else. Uh, this blue one is from the Trans Temple toy. It looks... Uh, pretty nice on there and we'll bring in the character options so this uh, is basically what this originally started out like you know uh, except this has got the end cap on this one this is the red button one and obviously this doesn't have that but they pretty much started out like this so I'd say it's a pretty nice upgrade I really like it um, haven't made a video on it before, quite surprised on that, but yeah, here it is. So give it a flick there, you can see I have filled in the claws, so there's no horrible gaps. <laughs> Looks a lot better I think. Uh, I also moved the LED to the tip of the emitter. And yeah, I just love how you can like activate this in any, you know, position. Give it a flick. Beautiful. So like I say, my favorite custom. Uh, I've still got a few other customs that we're gonna look at. And uh, yeah, so look out for them. <laughs> I'll have some more videos out soon. Hope you like the Sonic. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them in the comments. So yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video.